Welcome back to the show. We got some news. You're going to love it. Somebody roll that beautiful intro. Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show. You can follow us on YouTube, <laughs> Twitter, and digperspectives.com. Gosh, I wish you could know just... <laughs> I really do wish you could know how simple I am. Uh, I, my tech skills are absolutely atrocious. $2.24 trillion market cap for cryptocurrency, and we are up 2.9%. We welcome it. Uh, 61000 plus for Bitcoin. Good morning. And 2700 plus for Ethereum. Ethereum has been struggling to get that win back in its sales. We'll keep an eye on it. 116 billion plus market cap for Tether. USD at the number six spot with 34 billion plus market cap. XRP at the number seven spot at 57 cents. We happen to be up 0.3 on the 24 and up 12.2 on the seven day. So let's look at the range of price. Ranging between 57 and 58 cents. Now, this is more like what we see when the market is calm and flat, right? Ranging between one cent, give or take. So uh, that's where we are this morning. We'll keep an eye on it if something pops off. But we have some great news you're going to love. And right here, for one, is I Trust Capital. And if you have not taken advantage of it, Empower yourself with your own back office so you can grow your own retirement tax-free. Look, the only thing better than buying crypto is buying tax-free crypto, which you can have access to when you're 59 and a half. You can roll over your 401k, your 403b, your 457. You know, this is a remarkable opportunity, but all you have to do to get started is click the link underneath the video to get started with iTrust Capital. Check out my sponsor. We start right here. The platform is being asked to censor content in Brazil where the censorship demands require us to violate Brazilian law. That is not right. Again, another highlight here of why we have the freedom zone, right? It's not just so I can make you pay for something, right? It, it, it is literally to protect me from the censorship issues I've been fighting for six years. There have been times when my money's been cut off and you have no idea that it's happened. I just keep putting out the content. It doesn't make sense for me to share what my nightmare is with the audience, right? You guys are just looking to get information. But this is what happens, and this is how we got the private groups that I have. This is the God's honest truth. It is the enormous fight of censorship and the lack of the platforms that we work with that will not let you know what you can or can't say until it's too late and you've said whatever the thing is they now don't want you to say and you're demonetized or you're suspended. Those types of things happen. So I wanted to share this with you that it's still very much very real. And I wanted to share with you also that when they had the conversation with uh, Elon and uh, Donald the other night, and I say those names so I can not be censored, <laughs> That conversation they had the other night had a DDoS attack. Now, you know that comes specifically from Deep State, which runs mainstream media. Let's not kid ourselves. The fight is real. Cassie Craddock here from Ripple says, Our new Geneva office is open. I've spent the last few days there, and it's the perfect place for Ripple Swiss employees to meet clients and prospects. With a regulatory environment that embraces innovation, Switzerland remains a leader, our leading center for our crypto business. No question about it. And I couldn't be more excited because there's so much coming. You're going to love what we got for you today. But take a look who's dipped their toe into the Bitcoin ETF holding. It's $2.8 trillion asset manager Goldman Sachs discloses $418 million worth of Bitcoin ETFs in their position. What does this mean? It means Bitcoin's not going away in the near term. What else does it mean? It means we are right about the fact that there is a huge collapse and correction coming in the traditional markets. Brad, now how do you know that? Well, we know that because... We're seeing all these large investment banks that said that crypto and Bitcoin was trash are now buying $418 million worth of it. 
That's how we know. That's how we know there's a correction and a collapse coming in the markets because they're the ones that are going to take the hit. Uh, yeah, but what if it's just them that bought it? Well, it isn't just them. Look, Morgan Stanley, $1.3 trillion asset manager advisors to offer spot Bitcoin ETFs to clients starting today. That's how you know. <laughs> Everyone's doing it. BlackRock's doing it. Fidelity's doing it, right? And everyone who doesn't do it is going to get their ass handed to them when the market does collapse. Where are we with the more spot ETFs on the matter? Let's take a listen here and let's ask Coindesk and they wouldn't dare ask about XRP because it is a horrible, horrible place if you think you're a journalist because there is no journalism going on at Coindesk. However, there is spin and let's hear what the latest of the spin is. Mr. Sol ETF next year, do you think? It just depends if the White House stays the same. Uh, I think if you have uh, Democrats staying in power, they're going, I don't know if Gensler will last, but let's say he does, no way. Let's say they, they do Gensler 2.0, no way. I think if the Republicans take over, anything's possible because especially Trump has been making sort of some relationship and inroads with this crowd. And he may be much more open to like all kinds of stuff. If Hester Peirce was the chairman of the SEC, I think you'd have to look at, you know, at least decent odds of a sole ETF. She's a lot more libertarian. You know, she dissented all the, all the way since 2012. She was dissenting on the de denials of the Bitcoin ETF. Mm -hmm. So you have to imagine if she's the chair, all kinds of things could happen. So we'll, November, big catalyst for your question there. No doubt about it, but we'll see. And what about the Honorable Christian Carlo? He's the one who introduced the futures uh, Bitcoin e uh, ETF, the futures ETFs for Bitcoin uh, when he was headed to CFTC. I think he would make a great SEC chairman. And look at what just popped out. This is Bitnomio Exchange is launching XRP futures contracts today, which could boost XRP's liquidity and attract institutional investors. Now, remember, when we're talking about these products launched on top of the underlying asset, as we're talking about here, futures contracts launched on top of the asset XRP and or eventually someday in the future spot ETFs which means spot price right futures where you can play it you can go in and short the market spot price where you can go in and long this thing right so now you're getting products introduced eventually on top of the asset shorting it starting today with Bitnomial Right now, outside of the U.S., there are the ability to do this. But I'm just saying, looking right here, this is a massive step forward. Why is it a massive step forward? It's a massive step forward because in order to get the spot ETFs for XRP, you're going to first need the futures. And here we have it. Bit know me all from VetX right here. Uh, VetXO, shout out to him. Bit know me all to launch a XRP USD futures known as XUS. They notified the Commodities Futures Trade Commission on this initial listing intended to trade after August 13th. That is today, ladies and gentlemen. And then this, to just clear up things here, saw questions regarding the Bitnomial XRP USD futures, and I asked them about their listing. The exchange is a CFTC registered designated contract market, just like the CME, where Bitcoin futures ETFs got listed. That's exactly the process you want to see for XRP ETF. Th this is spot on right here, ladies and gentlemen, because we do want to see this launched this way because this is the exact path to eventually getting our XRP spot ETF. We got to have that future one first. And even Eric Bulcon uh, Bulcunis has talked about this, who we just heard from a, a moment ago. Right. He said, we got to have the futures ETF for XRP before you get the actual spot. So here we are. So they become the first crypto, crypto native exchange to be granted a full set of CFTC derivative licenses 
back on December 13th of 2023. This allows Bitnomial to offer crypto-based exchange-traded products under the CFTC rule set. And they have been around for a long time. So Bitnomial is U.S. CFTC regulated since 2020, and its core product are two Bitcoin futures, since Bitcoin and XRP are the only two digital assets with regulatory clarity in the U.S., a XRP USD future seems to be pretty big deal. And I think that is correct. And you can see here the timeline where they've worked on all of these things. So this is remarkable because it sets the stage. And what did we just get, right? What did we just, what is this with the shadow banning? I've been following that. What is going on with that? Anyway, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, X is supposed to be this free speech, no shadow ban and all this stuff. I didn't unfollow vet. How did that get unfollowed? See, I still think there's holdovers uh, from before when Elon bought this space and doing weird things with the algorithm. That's my personal belief. Anyway, we fixed it. But there you have it. This is a big deal for all of us. I really do believe this. And it sets the stage. And what I was going to say is, is that and with the introduction of this and future XRP ETF being launched here, what do we know? We just got the decision. We're waiting 60 days to find out if the SEC is, in fact, going to appeal or not or if Ripple's going to appeal or not. Ripple's pretty much made it clear they intend to pay the fine within 30 days. So. If that happens, maybe we get some clarity from the SEC on what their intentions may or may not be when it comes to Ripple and XRP going forward. We'll find out. But I wanted to tie this in. Remember when Caroline Pham from the CFTC, Commissioner Pham, went and met with Ripple and Brad Garlinghouse? And Crypto Insight UK says, actually recording of the conversation. And of course, he's tongue-in-cheek here. Yo, Caroline, give us future market market so we can get the spot XRP ETF accepted. And <laughs> Commissioner Fair says, I got you, G. Trade tomorrow. <laughs> Brad finishes with Gary's going to hate this one. You know, this is exactly what I've just painted the picture in Crypto Insight UK. You should give him a follow. He's super smart. And he's got it right here. You know, you have to have the future market launched before you can get the spot, right? But once you get that, it's game on, player. It's game on. Super excited for all of this. Don't forget, as we wait in this 60-day window, Ripple begins testing its stable coin, Ripple USD, the real USD, on the XRP ledger and Ethereum. And it don't be surprised if it launches on Ethereum first, too, by the way. Uh, almost a $400 billion market cap there, depending on the day you look at it. So, and then don't forget this is Will, well, uh, Open Eden introducing tokenized U.S. Treasury bills onto the XRP ledger. So what are we talking about here? We just got a ruling in the remedies phase. We got a 60-day window to find out if the case is truly, truly over. And in the interim, we're seeing the real USD being rolled out for launch we see U.S. Treasury bills being tokenized on the XRP ledger. And we see the launch of XRP futures ETFs right here in the U.S., CFTC regulated. This is super exciting to me. Uh, I, look, I mean, if anything, one could make the argument at this point speculatively you know, that if they're preparing to roll out this futures, then obviously the spot's right behind it. And that would tell all of us, maybe, just maybe, this case is over. I don't know. But, may, I, you know, I prefer it. You guys know I believe it goes to the Supreme Court ultimately. But you know what? I'm okay if they want to just end it. I'm not going to be upset. I'd be happy as hell to be wrong about that. We're going into the Freedom Zone, not financial advice of me or anyone else. But you know what? Again, you're going to want to be in here. Censorship resistance. This is a big deal. Not to mention the fact, uh, listen, after Moon, these groups are extended family to me. And after this market moons, I'll still be in this space. But if you really want to have access to me, if you really want to keep connected with me as we move forward, when our portfolio is 10, 20, 30, 40 X plus, these groups are going to be the way to do it because that is what I'm really interested in. 
I love having connections with people, and that's why we're doing that in here as well. So it's a great way to cut out the middleman like social media and just deal with you and I directly. It is a great, clean way to exchange information and ideas, and I love it, and I know you guys do too. I'm grateful for each and every one of you, not financial advice for me or anyone else. Come on in and join us at the Freedom Zone, dickperspectives.com. Just click it and come on in. Let's get started. All right.